with the current situation with AHS, obviously there's a standard of living that's not being met here. Sherida Scott, a resident and former property manager for the units in Mount Crandall Crescent, says the rentals have had many issues with Alberta Health Services having served multiple orders over the past year. Currently, there are five active work orders in place from AHS spanning back to May 2023, which include flooring, drywall and electrical problems, with two unit closures in effect as of April 3rd, 2024. Scott says the owner, governed Reddy in Surrey, B.C., refuses to fix the problems but continues to rent out the units before they're fixed or cleaned. There was one young lady who was actually told to live in a unit that was condemned. Some have waited as long as three months for a place and he's promised them it'll be ready by the 15th. It'll be ready by the 1st. It's not ready for three months. Tabitha Dolan attempted to rent a unit last year but the day she was supposed to move in, the unit was in deplorable condition. You know, he's like, it'll be ready, but he wasn't ready. We had all of our stuff here with the U-Haul. Um, it was it was just gross. That's all I can describe it as. There was uh, animal feces on the ground, mouse droppings everywhere. Devin Martin has lived in his unit since 2020 and has dealt with many problems. And he's kept a folder of notices from his landlord. It's actually about an inch thick of eviction notices that I've received for every single time I've asked for a repair. Floorboards are warping. The counters, they're cut. They're not even on like glued to the wood on the counters. We've reached out to Reddy over phone and email and he says he spent thousands on repairs and believes the orders are not justified. He says he plans to ask the Prime Minister to intervene. AHS declined an interview but says legal action is possible. As for Scott, she's in the process of moving out and is warning renters to do their due diligence. Sarah Jones, Global News.